Come on, where are the bloopers? You're kind of looking at them. Jaima Rivera is how it's pronounced. Man, Sheriff, you got an A. Thumbs up if you want Jaime vlogging, and you didn't get any thumbs up, but I wonder, what do you want me to vlog about? That's right, it's that time of the week, and if I've taken too long, it's because I've got this massive cold right now, but anyways. I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is our Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. So last Monday I asked you if you were holding out for the iPad 5 or the iPad Mini 2, and the reason why is because the news were about some rumored dates for a possible launch, and as it turns out we have 460 comments out of which, for example, Shezad, which is a very frequent Pocket Now visitor, says, I'm happy with my Nexus 7, but I'm curious to see what Apple brings. Progress is always appreciated, and yeah, a lot of people are happy with their Nexus 7, and specifically the new variant. If you currently hold the Nexus 7, it's kind of a no-brainer to keep it and forget about the iPad, but let's Let's see what Apple brings. Then Xavier Costar says, if the iPad mini does not bring a retina, I am getting the iPad 5, and that is exactly my particular point. I prefer the form factor of the iPad mini, that's the reason why I have it, but I hate this tablet because it doesn't have a retina display. Now, the rumors have it that it won't bring a retina display, so I'll most likely go for the iPad 5. And then Yusu says, Microsoft comes out with a new Surface Pro, and... You know what, buddy? Both these products don't even compete against each other. This is a full computer against a tablet with an ARM-based processor. So I don't think a lot of people really care, especially with the price point of the Surface Pro. Then on Tuesday, I asked you if you were ordering the iPhone 5S in which color and why the news were about the fact that there were going to be shortages of the iPhone 5S in gold, which ended up happening. And we have 443 comments out of which 148 Pro says, I want the gold and I'm a guy. And yeah, I said that I didn't want to get the gold phone because it was a girl's best friend, and I kind of rest my case on that one. Then Kaylin Wilson says Space Gray because I think it blends better, and honestly, I ordered the Space Gray as well. I feel that it looks a lot like the first generation iPhone, and since it doesn't have fingerprint issues and hopefully no scuff gate issues, that's really the reason why I went for it. It's more unique than the other phones. And then Courtney Brosia says, I'm getting the white 5S in February. Can't wait. And... If you can't wait, why are you waiting until February? Then on Wednesday, I asked you if Touch ID was enough for you to consider an iPhone 5S or an iPad 5. The rumors were of the iPad 5 and probably the iPad mini getting Touch ID, which is pretty much confirmed now. And we have 516 comments out of which James Baring says, Apple can do much better than Touch ID alone. Such a disappointment. I was expecting a better invasion. Invasion, I think that's the word, and you know, you're right, James. Honestly, I do feel that Touch ID is not enough, but still, it's a cool feature. I just, yeah, I agree with you. Apple should have done more. And Cheryl Sand29 says, I wouldn't buy the iPhone or iPad with Touch ID because of security reasons. Someone only needs to hack Apple's database and steal as many IDs as necessary. Uh, I don't know how it works in your country, but in my country, the whole government has my fingerprints ever since I was born. And then Timothy Doherty says, that's too gimmicky, and I'm sorry, buddy, I am not going to agree with you. This is the same home button with extra functionality. You're still going to have to press the home button, so I really don't understand what the gimmick is here. Then on Thursday, I asked you if you were holding out for the Nexus 5. The rumors are that it will be launched sometime within October, and we have 652 comments, out of which Diamond USA 7 says Nexus 5 for the win, and I'm currently reviewing the LG G2, and if the Nexus 5 is based off of this phone, this is going to be a hot product. Then Mr. Phenom555 says, I'm holding my breath until Nexus 5 comes out. And can somebody please call 911? Then Randall Richardson says, the Nexus 5 is clearly being released on Thursday, October 31st, 2013. Kit Kat equals candy, and then Halloween means give out candy. And, uh, you know, that's a really good theory. And then on Friday, I asked you if you would pay for a CyanogenMod phone. The rumors were of the Oppo N1 being announced with CyanogenMod, and it turned out to be true. So we have 409 comments out of which one says, CyanogenMod is so unstable, I'd rather have touch crap of Samsung. And buddy, if you're saying that, you've never used CyanogenMod, serious. And another commenter says, I love CyanogenMod and HTC, but if it comes with it out of the box, where's all the fun with rooting, modding, and booting? And honestly, the percentage of people that actually love rooting is very small. I would love for Cyanogen Mod to be available for the masses. You know, honestly, in my case, I would load Cyanogen Mod on more than one phone if it were easier to load. And that's not just because I, I can root a phone. I just, 
don't like the hassle of, you know, risking bricking my device. And then Luis Robles says, yes, I will pay for a phone, CyanogenMod, why not? And you know, why not? You're right, CyanogenMod is an awesome, awesome version of the operating system. The only problem is that right now you can get it for free, so that's mainly the question why. Why would you pay for something that you can currently get for free on your current device? You wouldn't even have to buy another phone. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Honestly, I feel that that's really the problem that they're gonna have in selling that Alpo N one at least here but let's see how it goes for them that's it for our pocket now daily recap thank you very much for watching a couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured number one keep them short number two stick to the point point. and number three try to get some thumbs up and make some easier to spot and you can also follow us on social media and also subscribe to our youtube channel as well you can follow me on twitter at jaime underscore rivera thank you very much for watching i am jaime rivera please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw and i will see you tomorrow with the pocket now daily